What is going on guys, Bengal here coming back at you with another video today back on Miami Dolphins franchise. I am in my new apartment. You would have known that if you saw the last episode or probably some rebuilds that I've done in the time being. I'm not really sure what the schedule of those is going to be. However, there's a slight echo for now. I'm working on fixing that. I'm working on, you know, maybe getting some stuff in the background to look at for a backdrop. Lighting, I'm going to set up pretty soon here. Uh, I, I could have done that actually now, so that'll probably be in the next video, um, to be honest. So I think things are going pretty well. However, I gotta say, I apologize for the last episode. I thought it'd be a fun idea to stream it, but with my current uh, recording setup and streaming setup with my laptop, my laptop just couldn't handle it and the sync got all wonky. It's been difficult enough to record these videos without any error. So again, I do apologize for that. In real life now, Minka Fitzpatrick has requested a trade from the Miami Dolphins or requested permission to seek a trade. However, I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking about it. Minka Fitzpatrick is a 23-year-old superstar development safety slash slot corner. I'm not trading him for anything. This is not going to happen. Uh, it's just there's no type of value that I can get from him uh, by using him in a trade like, I can't replace that level of value, that age, um, that talent, that development. It just cannot be done. So, not even considering it. We're going to use zone on Xavier Howard. We play a lot of zone. He goes up to an 86 overall. I would love to see plus two to get up to 90. Plus two speed? Plus two speed on Xavier Howard up to 94? Plus two speed? That is ridiculous. I am so in. Mike Kosicki will continue uh, going through vertical threat. Tight ends always get a bunch of upgrades. Uh, anyone that real notable on this one, plus one catching, plus three break tackle could be big. Plus one deep route running, plus two short route running. Not too bad. Lawrence Ross. Let's see what we want to do on him. So I would say just general accuracy could go up. So deep accuracy I would be in on. So strong arm is what it's going to be. 78 overall for Lawrence Ross now. And um, gets plus one throw accuracy mid and under pressure. Breaks that goes up by one, so nothing really notable on that one. Uh, Kalen Balage is he going to be back healthy? Nope. Collarbone or collarbone still broken. He's not an elusive style back. Uh, he's my trucking guy, so I need to continue to uh, to work on power back on him, even if his overall doesn't change. But it does. It goes up by one to a 72. No trucking goes up though, unfortunately. And then we'll have the CPU work on the rest. So the sliders are getting to a point where the gameplay is very very good. Uh, I dominated last game. Well, it was a close game, 24-21, but I was great offensively uh, for the most part, and that led us up to a 24-21 victory over the Patriots. I think fumbling is working out pretty well. I do want to turn down their tackling slightly. I just feel like we're not breaking any tackles, and the CPU is breaking a ton of tackles. Um, it's just not like as fair or balanced as it should be, so those are the slider changes if you guys would like to uh, you know, uh, replicate those, if you please. Today we face the 3-0 LA Rams. They're a 78 overall, one of the better overalls in the NFL. The Patriots were a 77 who we played last week. And now we'll see if we can beat the LA Rams at home in our uh, main uniforms. So nothing special today, but I think we're going to be looking pretty good. All right, kick is off here from Hard Rock Stadium. This thing is packed today. And it looks like, is the roof closed today? Slightly, maybe. Yeah, the lighting looks kind of weird. Is that usually like that? Maybe. I don't really know. Not something I've noticed in the past, but Jared Goff towed Gourley, and he's going to get a handoff. Doesn't really go anywhere. Todd Gurley was such a beast at Georgia. And he had the, the ACL tear, unfortunately, but he's going to be a beast in today's game, it looks like. Give me another run. The run blocking from the CPU has been incredible lately. We just can't shed blocks at any type of uh, good rate. And they're just going to run the ball on us all day. Second and four. We're going to take Robert Woods away. Hopefully Cooper Cup as well. And they get checked down. It's a good check down as Raekwon McMillan is there for the tackle. It's tight end Gerald Everett, former South Alabama Jaguar. And uh, this, this offense is moving a little bit here, huh? I also think I should turn down CPU pass blocking a bit as they have 25 minutes to throw at any time as that is intercepted by the rookie, Titus Avant. There we go. 
He's now in a potential starting role. And he is uh, making the most of it with an interception. Slant. Oh, it's a good play by Kwiatkowski. I thought we had that perfectly. Might run slants again. See who gets open. Kasiki in the flat or uh, maybe Kenny Stills. And I can't get rid of the football. Back up and get sacked. So that interception uh, does not end up being too good for us. That is uh, really, really unfortunate. We're down 2 nothing now, somehow. After an interception, that's just not unlucky. That's all you can say. They're going deep. Xavier Howard has the speed, though. And that is overthrown, looking for Robert Woods. That plus two speed boost with the upgrades. Got him a nice little burst there, and he is not going to get beat over the top um, in a man-to-man -man situation like that or running deep down the field. That's got to be user pick. Okay, a little bit out of reach, but that's third and four, which means LA is going to punt. Second and four. Preston Williams could be wide open here. We're going to give him a shot. Go up and get the football. Preston Williams. Incomplete. All right. I thought he came down with that. Let's flip this. I want Jakeem Grant on the table. I think he's a better receiving option than Mark Walton, obviously. I mean, what do you want me to do there? What do you want me to do? It's Micah Kaiser on the interception. I forgot he even existed. Like, we had some open options here, right? And we're just going to have to take a look at the film here. So I'm looking at the table. Table's open. Or table's not open, excuse me. Pressure's coming in. Right here and right here. Two off the edge. <laughs> and then one right up the middle. So I got to get rid of the ball. I got to make a decision now. We already are under heavy pressure. Kasiki's open, right? This is a little bit further of a throw. But this is also wide open. Kenny Stills is wide open. And look where Lawrence Ross goes with the football. Over here. I can't. I can't sometimes. Like, these interceptions are not my fault. Some of them, yeah, obviously. A lot of them, no. A lot of them are, but like, some of them I just don't even have a chance. They just throw the ball a completely different direction. First and goal, I mean, you gotta think the ball's gonna go to Todd Gurley in these type of spots. To run up the middle. That is a big tackle. Titus Avon. Continues having a pretty big game. Not sure that's going to go down as a TFL. Goes down as a tackle, but it's a run stop. It's at the line. It's second and goal now. We need to have him have a big impact. If he can develop at that strong safety spot, we're going to be in great shape. And that needs to be a tackle. Kendall Fuller can't wrap up. But that's a big second and goal stop, keeping him out of the end zone. And now third and goal. I don't really want to blitz him. He jumped off sides. Dude, I switched off and he jumped off sides. Now it's third and goal on the one. The neutral zone infraction as opposed to the offside, I guess. It would have uh, really been hurtful. But third and goal. I'm all over it. How is that out of reach? You can jump. You're allowed to jump. Jerome Baker is an athletic linebacker. Jump for the ball. We cannot get anybody open. The Rams are suffocating. Slant, finally. Finally, we get at least one completion. One for five now. Got to find a way to convert here. Wide open over the middle. Nick O'Leary. First down. I'll just take what I can get right now. We're going to get moving. We're going to get some momentum. We're going to get in rhythm. And we're going to start making some plays. It's wide open. Ray Ray McLeod. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't need to try to get 30 when I can get, you know, 15 or 20 sometimes. I don't think it's been a terrible quarter for us overall. Obviously down 9 nothing. It's not great. I think we've played okay. It's been a couple of uh, really unfortunate events. That was not to Jakeem Grant, by the way. Um, it's been a couple of unfortunate events that have just backfired on us. Like, you know, the interception turned safety. And then a random jump off sides on third down to make it a shorter third down. And yeah, it's like, Jakeem Grant actually breaks a tackle for once. But yeah, like, it's an unfortunate event. They may have scored anyway on third and four, or like, or third and goal from the four. But third and one is a lot easier. And then I played the route pretty well, and they still scored a touchdown. This could very easily be a completely different score. I, I can't even come up with one because uh, that's a great block. Devontae Parker, touchdown. I can't even come up with one because 
who knows if we would have scored or not, but we score now. It's Devontae Parker into the end zone. We're right back in the game, 9-6. to six. I mean, this is still at the end of the day, at the end of the day, a very bad team. To 72 overall, we're going up against a lot uh, better teams in general. It's amazing we can stay in some of these games on All Madden with these sliders, but I think the games have been playing pretty realistic, pretty well. We're getting to a point where I'm really comfortable. Uh, I think they're entertaining, exciting games for the most part. I'm still going to make mistakes, but we're moving in the right direction. I think everyone would agree. But, I mean, and you guys have heard me talk about it before, and people always hate when I address the, any type of negative comment for some reason. Like, oh, if I had a channel, I would never address anything with a counterpoint. <laughs> I would ignore the hate. It's like, there's some things need to be addressed so you can offer the opposite argument, you know? It's like, people are always going to complain if I win and I'm successful. People complain if I am terrible and unsuccessful. People complain, what a play by Kendall Fuller to knock that one down. You gotta catch the ball. Third and six. Going to the flat. You gotta wrap up Matt Harris. Big tackle on the tight end, Gerald Everett. And Jared Goff and the LA offense, honestly struggling so far when throwing the football. They've been dominant when running. But we're looking at fourth and three. One of the best punters in the NFL, Johnny Hecker, booms it deep. And that's going to pin us at the eight. That is a tough spot. Don't want to get safety here. I don't really think it's a risk, though, at the eight. Just don't want to drop back into the end zone as I uh, have done a lot. It's Nikel Roby Coleman. Uh, they sent a huge blitz off the edge. That was a nickel blitz. And I tried to dunk it off to Jakeem Grant quickly. I had no time. And it's safety number two of the game. This is going to be a tough matchup for Minka. Might just let him hang. They go short. Big tackle by Matt Harris. Looked a bit like a horse collar there. So whatever. We're not calling it. Third and six. Get pressure. Get a turnover. DeAndre Hubbard checks into the game. Step up. Kendall Fuller can't make the hit. Can't jar the football loose. They hold on to everything. It's Cooper Cup with a big first down. You ever feel magnetized when you're playing? Like you can't really move your player in the way that you'd like to? Or you can't move at all? They just kind of take over? I'm not getting it there. Movement was great, and we finally get pressure in the sack. Tyus Bowser off the edge. Striking the Heisman. I don't think Tyus Bowser... A defensive player from Houston who ended up going in what the third round late second round get any Heisman recognition now that's not to say Houston couldn't have a defensive player in Heisman conversation look at Ed Oliver I know that's what a lot of you nerds who would like to correct me or like to think that they have a shot to are thinking it's like yeah I know but he never like, he didn't finish in the top three or anything he fell off considerably from that conversation make a play it's picked off by the rookie out of UCF DeAndre Hubbard Let's go, baby. The rookies here forcing turnovers, making big plays. We've seen Titus Avant with a pick. DeAndre Hubbard with a pick. We saw Matt Harris make a bunch of big tackles. Jared Goff is struggling. Got that big contract in real life. Can't even complete passes in this game. That's not true. They've been, like, dicing us up other than the turnovers. But the turnovers did happen. Here we go, Jakeem. That's a big game. That's unbelievable. No one's getting open at all. That's open. That's so open. You guys would have killed me if I missed that, but momentum takes him out of bounds. Preston Williams, big catch, though. If this is a blitz, they're not going to be able to cover both seams. Gesicki or Williams is going to get open. Just give me time. I like Williams. I like Williams. Make the catch! Preston Williams, touchdown! What a ball from Lawrence Ross. And great catch from Preston Williams. Looking like Superman. Superman. To run. Oh, they cut it back. We, I, we need some big tackles here. I mean, that's, that's a big tackle by Jerome Baker to stop the touchdown. But Todd Gurley, who is now in the zone, is uh, running all over us. Seven seconds. LA, of course, not opting to use your timeouts. I left my man open, so time would expire. All we have to do is wrap up. I'll give him the extra yards. He just ran right into me. What are you going to do? Uh, CPU has no idea how to manage the clock ever. That's a big problem with Madden 20, in my opinion. They easily should have been able to tie with a field goal at the very least. But that's all right. I'll take the 14-11 lead going into the second half. We still don't have a rushing touchdown with Jakeem Grant. It's just, I, there's no situation really where he really would have one. 
I like Kenny Stills. I just don't think we can get him the football. I shouldn't have even tried it. All right, this is a uh, big third and seven. I'm actually going to put Kenny Stills on a deeper curl. We just need time. These routes are going to take a little while to develop. Just got to go up and get you. There we go, Kenny. Just go up and get it. I'm going to take another shot. We got Preston Williams deep downfield, and that's an interception. Are you kidding me? Marcus Peters wins the one-on-one, -on -one, I guess. Uh, Preston Williams never even pretended to be a receiver on that. Just went immediately for the tackle. Would like to see a six foot four receiver go up and try to make a play on the ball, but all right. That's it. That's out of the zone. All right, all we had to do was tackle Todd Gurley for a loss to get him out of the zone. And that stretch was beautifully wrapped up by Minka. And Todd Gurley is back down to earth for a minute, although he wasn't really going off too much. He wasn't really too uh, tough to stop while in the zone. I don't know if they misutilized him or what. That's going to be a, maybe another tackle for loss. Yeah, not exactly a great passing play there. As on 4th and 12, L.A. is going to punt it back to Jakeem Grant. And that's Aaron Donald. Yeah. Um, not sure how Lawrence Ross didn't manage to get that football out. That's pretty disgusting, if I'm being honest. Because I had Kenny Stills. I, I really I have no idea. I just need some time. I'm going to roll out to the right. And fire deep down the field. They got double coverage on that easy. Okay. Bad drive. Bad drive. Bad drive. I'm going for Preston Williams deep again after the first one worked out. And then since then, we've had a couple of incompletions and been intercepted. So, um, I should start looking shorter again. It's a decent punt. Nothing crazy. Wish that got out of bounds as Matt Harris has just led right around him. We're going to send heat off that edge. Cornerback blitz. Just got to pick it up in other areas. There's a flag, and Minka forces a fumble on Jeff Hireman, who doesn't even go down, and Hubbard misses a tackle. But holding is going to bring it all the way back. And, of course, even though the holding system, or the penalty system seems to be broken this year because I've had plenty of times where I've accepted or declined, and the reverse has happened somehow. But it is third and 13. We have another chance to stop them, and they're taking a shot. Titus Avant, interception number two. He got it. Same animation as earlier when Preston Williams turned into a defensive back or a tackler. Robert Woods doesn't even make an attempt at the football. And Titus Avant, interception number two. And what appears to be a breakout game for the rookie. And Jakeem Grant has a ton of space. We're just going to duck out of bounds. No need to take any hits. Gasicki, we got it to him. Let's go, baby. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. No. I just need one-on-one -on -one for Preston Williams. I need the right coverage, and I can't get it. I'll take one-on-one -on -one there. That's Mike Kosicki. I guess a linebacker, and Nick Kwiatkowski knocks the football away. Can you not? See, I'm just, I drop back like, almost out of field goal range. Aaron Donald is uh, is starting to become a little bit of a problem. He's in the zone now. That's That's really a problem. We're going to have to settle for a field goal try here. This is kind of deep. I can't, I can't believe we can't convert there, man. That's frustrating. Kick is accurate, though, and it does have the leg. 17 to 11. That's a score you're not going to see very often, if ever. Oh, Baker couldn't wrap up. That is unfortunate. Because that would have been a big tackle for Jerome Baker in the backfield. But that brings us to the end of the third quarter. Still anyone's ball game here. Uh, an L.A. Ram touchdown, an extra point would put them on top. Would really prefer that didn't happen. Defense has played well today. L.A. hasn't exactly done much. But Titus Avon in coverage on Cooper Cup is a mismatch. Give me... I am literally right there. That is unbelievable. It's another one of those instances where the game's like, oh, you know what? User middle linebackers and middle linebackers in general in coverage have been too overpowered. So when I'm sitting in the correct position, it doesn't give me any type of an animation. I press triangle at the right time. Look at this. I lurk this perfectly. Are you saying that ball's too high for Jerome Baker to jump up and get? Are you kidding me? All he has to do is, is put his arm up. Anything. And that's at least knocked down. At standing, doesn't jump, 
doesn't put his arm up, doesn't fucking move. Of course, out to catch, yeah, it would be. Jared Goff, only uh, a handful of incompletions on the game. Seven, I believe. And um, three of those incompletions are interceptions. A little bit crazy. And I let that open a bit, but finally we get some type of pressure. DeAndre Hubbard sacks Jared Goff. Backs him up a little bit. Only That is not only his third tackle. There's no way. I feel like he's been involved a lot more than that. Maybe not, though. I thought he already had like four or five. And I just fucking get sucked down in the block, but he fumbles the ball! A huge hit by Titus Avant! And Todd Gurley puts the ball on the ground. It's recovered by Tyus Bowser. Maybe it was Kendall Fuller on the hit? I think that was... I think that was Titus Avant, who's having an amazing game. And now Aaron Donald's going to be literally unstoppable. Third and four. I'm going to have no time with, with uh, Aaron Donald being in the zone. We got him double teamed. That's wide open. Javante Parker is wide open underneath. That is not an accurate pass. And I accidentally call a timeout and I tip my controller. I'm trying to just lay hit sticks. We've been doing it all game. We've got one fumble from it, which is actually kind of nice. And it was a huge one by, I believe, Titus Vaughn, who's having an unbelievable game. He has, without question, been the star here. And I just can't cover both of those. LA is still threatening. We need a turnover. A turnover would probably ice the game. Allowing a touchdown would be extremely painful. That was a screen. The one time I don't read it, man. And it's going to go for big yardage. They're kind of crushing us when we're sitting in nickel, which is strange. Because we were better at defending the pass sitting in 4-3. And that is a handoff to the backup running back. Daryl Henderson Jr. out of Memphis. And it's first and goal from the two. Maybe 4-3 was the move. Man up with Titus Avant on Cooper Cup. And I want to be all over it, and we get a sack. Tyrone Holmes. And they hand off. What are you doing on third and goal? It's a big tackle. I think it was DeAndre Hubbard. And now it is fourth and goal from the seven. Game is essentially on the line. Raquan McMillan is not exactly the linebacker I want out here. They're going end zone. That is out of the back of the end zone. Caught by Cooper Cup anyway, but incomplete. We have two minutes. They still have three timeouts. No safeties. We're going to run the ball probably all three downs here. Just need good blocking, and, and we can get out of this tricky spot. Also... If Jakeem Grant fumbles the ball, I'm going to be so upset. Jakeem Grant, speed! Nobody's going to catch him! Jakeem Grant past midfield to the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, celebrating. Touchdown, Jakeem Grant ices the game. Hit the first rushing touchdown of his young career as a running back. And even in general, dive up the middle, great blocking, even better speed. And speed kills as the head of the Ram has been cut off. Go for a two-point conversion here. And I think we're going to get it as well. Nick O'Leary out of the end zone and then back in. 25-11. to 11. The Rams have to score two touchdowns in under two minutes with two timeouts. A lot of twos. Two win. To tie, I don't think they're going to. I'm trying to be all over everything. Just check down all game. That's cool. Time's running out. You yeah, have, what, 35 seconds by the time this play is over? Maybe. Just I'll let, I'll let you check down. I don't know why it's making me still back up. But it's going to be, like, 25 seconds now at the start of this play. The game's over. They have two timeouts, and they're saving them for some reason. And that's going to be a broken sack. Somebody bring down Jared Goff. It's a ridiculously long play. Maybe that was for the best. I feel really good about this win. We made some mistakes. I think we didn't have things go our way in the slightest for most of this. We made some, a bunch of turnovers for big. Um, 
but I think we fought back, capitalized on some of our opportunities when we had them. A couple unfortunate mistakes here and there, but that, that's going to go with me and, of course, a very low overall team. Titus Avant absolutely balled out. I'm going to give him the game ball in theory. And um, just we had a tough game at the quarterback spot with Lawrence Ross, man. That's really all I can say. Just one of those games, 50% uh, percent completion percentage, two touchdowns, two picks. I know that was redundant with completion percentage. I always do that, though. Uh, only 161 yards. But Shaquem Grant, 10 carries for 151. I mean, you could give him the game ball, honestly. But, uh, of course, when one of them is an 89-yard run, that's going to skew those numbers a little bit. Uh, but Shaquem Grant, a great game for him. Not a whole lot of completions to go around, but a touchdown for Devontae Parker on his one catch and a touchdown for Preston Williams on his two. That was a deep bomb. Uh, and then defensively, I mean, we had double-digit tackles on four players. Titus Avant had nine, including two for loss. Mika had three, though, which led the team sacks. One and a half for Tyrone Holmes, one for DeAndre Hubbard, one for Tyus Bowser. Half a sack even for Titus Avant. Look at this stat line as, as a safety, as a rookie safety at a Kansas State. Nine tackles, two for loss, half a sack, two interceptions, and a forced fumble. I mean, that's pretty much as good as it gets. We might have a superstar in the making in Titus Avant. I am beyond thrilled. Also an interception for DeAndre Hubbard. Let's go, baby. I'm excited for the future. I hope you guys are as well. That was a breakout game if I've ever seen one. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.